Thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. If you like this kind of content, please look up Leighton Hills Baptist Church. There should be a link in the description. They have very similar content. We appreciate your support. Genesis chapter 6, often called the corruption of humanity. A huge chapter. You have the Nephilim, which are the result of sons of God coming down and mating with human women. What are sons of God? Probably angels. The word Nephilim means the fallen. Not a good word. You do not want to be called Nephilim. And then, of course, you've got, you know, the description of humanity, that humanity is evil and corrupt, and God's sorry that he made humanity. Brutal stuff. And then after that darkness, boom, you've got verse 9. These are the records of the generations of Noah, who was mentioned in the previous chapter. Verse 9 says, Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his time. Noah walked with God. How awesome is that? Here we have a culture of wickedness, of evil, that is so horrible that God regrets creating us. And in that environment of evil, it is still possible for a person to be described as righteous and blameless and walking with God. That's beautiful. That's hope. That's miraculous. And you have God interacting with Noah, um, calling him to make an ark out of gopher wood, which is a type of wood that doesn't even exist. Don't buy gopher wood if you find a deal on a line for it. It doesn't exist. We don't even know what it is. Is it a plywood? Is it a hardwood? Is it a, a wood that comes from a tree that has gone extinct? We just don't know. When you read Genesis 6, What jumps out to you? What inspires you? Is it the wickedness of humanity that inspires you? Is it God's regret that inspires you? Is it Noah's lifestyle in the midst of that wickedness that inspires you? Tell me in the comments below what jumps out at you. I want to know. Thank you for watching.